Hello and welcome back to SpaceX Flight. In today's episode, we will talk about SpaceX's Raptor engines which will soon power the most powerful rocket starship. How SpaceX can manufacture one Raptor engine every day. An amazing feat which no other rocket manufacturer has achieved. And SpaceX's progression from the groundbreaking Raptor 2 to the game-changing Raptor 3. Join us as we unravel the engineering marvels that are propelling humanity towards the stars. Before we dive in, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the bell, so you don't miss another awesome episode. Now with that, let's get into it. In the fast-paced realm of rocket, development, every advancement, counts, and SpaceX has been at the forefront of pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Like for example with Raptor 2, a monster of an engine with over 250 tons of thrust achieved a manufacturing frequency that astonished the aerospace industry producing one engine every day. Previously, they have produced the Raptor 1 engine, which was produced 100 times over three years, equating to one every two weeks. When SpaceX switched to Raptor 2 they can have produced 200 in one year, significantly increasing production to just one every two days. As of now, they have trimmed it further to just one a day. But as we'll soon discover, SpaceX isn't content with resting on their laurels when it comes to elevating SpaceX's engine production rate to unprecedented levels. How does SpaceX manage to manufacture engines at such a staggering pace? The answer lies in SpaceX's lasting pursuit of innovation and their commitment to aggressive simplification. This strategy can be summed up in Elon Musk's famous mantra. The best part is no part. The best process is no process. It weighs nothing, costs nothing, can't go wrong. For example, if you compare a side by side diagram of Raptor 1 and Raptor 2, you will notice how much Raptor 2 has been tidied up and simplified by redesigning engine components and eliminating bulk to the design. By streamlining the engine design and eliminating rocket parts, SpaceX has managed to reduce points of failure in their design as well as time and cost reductions while enhancing reliability and performance. SpaceX has also reduced mass by 200 kg from their previous design to about 1400 kg. The result? This upgrade has only made the engine more powerful by about 25% over the previous Raptor 1. If SpaceX continues following this trajectory, it can be guessed that Raptor 3 can be even simpler than Raptor 2. And because of increased simplicity, the production rate can be increased to even greater proportions. Several engines per day may seem like a realistic and achievable goal for SpaceX. This production speed is unlike anything achieved by any other rocket manufacturer, ever, blowing all other competitors out of the water. For example, we can compare Raptor's production speed to Blue Origin's BE-4 engine, another methane-powered engine developed in the same timeline as Raptor. However, production of the B-4 is minuscule in comparison by only producing dozens of engines, and only a few engines have been confirmed. Many others are still in production. To cope with the demand for this engine, set to serve commercial and military needs, such as Amazon's Project Kuiper, the Vulcan rocket, and more. Other rocket engines like SLS's RS-25 engines and Russia's RD-180 are far too complex to entertain any thought of mass producing. These engines, and the release of Raptor 3 will shut down their hopes of ever trying to compete with SpaceX. So, why does SpaceX need this insane manufacturing frequency of one engine a day for? Well, if we want to see the colonization of Mars become a reality, we are going to need a lot of rockets. Elon Musk estimates over 1,000 rocket launches in the future and Starship has 39 total Raptor engines, 33 for the Super Heavy, and 6 on Starship. To date SpaceX has produced around 400 Raptor V2 engines, but that supply will be exhausted in just 10 test flights. To mass produce Starships and Raptor engines as stated above, aggressive simplification is needed to reduce the complexity and cost if SpaceX wants to make spaceflight accessible for all. Even if SpaceX is reusing the rockets again, 
It needs to meet large launch needs in the future if it wants to colonize Mars, and engine production will be an extremely important part of the process. SpaceX has come a long way, from early failures to landing successes and everything in between, but what makes them stand out from the rest is their relentless pursuit of innovation and fine-tuning their Raptor engines. And that will lead them to shattering all previous records and achieve what no one has ever before. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.